All right, and now we are in the height of summer severe weather season. Yeah, we sure are. And in this week's Weather Wise, Amber will break down the severe outlook maps. Amber? Well, Tim and Alicia, I'm always showing maps like this. They're maps that are made to show this uh, to show the severe potential, uh, and they're given to us by the Storm Prediction Center. But you may need a refresher on what these mean. So we go uh, from general thunderstorms. You can see I always have a key on the left hand side of the screen there. We go from general thunderstorms, uh, thunderstorms rather, to the high risk for severe weather. And this is happens to be the severe potential for today. So let's start off with the thunderstorm category. These are not severe. They're not expected to be severe winds of generally up to 40 miles per hour and some small hail. You can still get some small hail in non severe thunderstorms. Now a category we see all the time is going to be the marginal risk. This would be isolated one to do to do storms uh, that could be severe, limited in duration, the winds 40 to 60, um, the hail around an inch, just marginally severe there uh, and a low tornado risk slight risk here. We see this quite a bit in severe weather this uh, time of year. Scattered severe storms, the wind damage reports. We could see one or two of these. Um, most of our hail reports are going to be around one inch. We could see an isolated two inch or so. Uh, one or two tornadoes not out of the question there. Uh, the next category, we don't see it a lot. We have seen it a couple times this year. Numerous severe thunderstorms here with the enhanced risk. This is where we're anticipating several uh, wind reports, wind damage reports. Damaging hail of two inches would be uh, favored here. A few tornadoes also are possible. Now we start getting into categories that we don't see much, and we have already seen a moderate risk for severe weather this year. In fact, last Thursday, we had this risk on our outlook map. Long-lived widespread severe storms, also uh, widespread wind damage. We expect to see several damage reports from wind. Uh, destructive hail, I know last Thursday we got baseball size hail that would fall under this category and strong tornadoes are also possible. The category we almost never see here. I can't think of a time that we have seen it since I've worked here, um, but we don't want to see this. You see it in uh, places like uh, Tornado Alley, Oklahoma area, uh, Dixie Alley. The high risk here, long lived widespread storms, intense tornado outbreaks look to be possible and also uh, long and dangerous lines of storms as well. Really destructive lines of storms. Now it's something to um, to keep in mind too is that tornadoes don't always have to be attached to every level. If you have a marginal risk for severe weather, it doesn't mean we'll get a tornado. It just means we could see uh, one or two, especially in that slight risk there. But coming up, I'll tell you guys more about our chances for uh, severe weather in the next few days. If we have any, we talk about heat. Mm -hmm. Good morning.